Hello everybody, Pamela Lapointe, your wildly vibrant wild fit coach in my cold Alaska kitchen. Lots of snow outside and my family is out um, shoveling the deck so it's a little noisy here but I am ready to cook this up and I just wanted to share it with you. I am using my very favorite instant pot. I have a six quart instant pot here and this is a quick and easy thing to cook up. Hold on, it looks like I'm a little crooked there. So let me just show you what's going on. Got my instant pot plugged in and I usually start by giving it a head start by hitting saute. I am not, I am a very quick and go kind of person. So I am not gonna so saute my um, chicken thighs, but I, it gets it going and it gets it hot while I'm prepping everything together. Yep, let's go. So an instant pot needs at least this size, six quart, um, needs at least um, one cup of liquid. And my ingredients are chicken thighs and um, tomatoes, some broth, and I'll go over all of it and I'll post the recipe. I swear, I don't have it written yet, but I will. Okay, I, um, I love my taco seasoning. And um, so I just have cut up my, um, about two pounds of thighs and I've sprinkled the um, seasoning on top. And I am going to just, I'm actually gonna start in my Instant Pot first half a cup of my um, homemade um, broth, foam broth from the chicken. And what I do is when I make up a big batch, I've been freezing it in my, these little containers that I bought to make my egg bites. So I just have all of these little pieces. And they stay in my freezer and each one is a half a cup. They're perfect. So about a half a cup. I'm gonna put this back in my freezer so it doesn't melt. Half a cup of um, bone broth. You can use regular chicken stock, you can use vegetable stock, you can use whatever. Let's not get too fancy here. All right, then I'm just going to add in my chicken. It would be about uh, one small onion, it's a cup. So, put that in there. And then make sure you have some alchazer. I, um, Want it, I like the spicy. So I am adding in some chipotle pepper in the um, sauce, in the adobe sauce or whatever you call that sauce. And I keep these, because I open up a can and then I only need one or two. So I freeze the rest in small ice cube trays so that each one is like one pepper with sauce. So I'm adding that. Can you hear it? Sorry, this is long up in there. One can of um, chopped tomatoes. This one is um, hot, it has jalapenos in it. And habanero chilies. I told you we like things spicy here, because the taco seasoning. I make the taco seasoning myself, so I will post that recipe. I mix up my um, spice and I just keep it in a larger container and I don't, like I said, post that recipe. Because when you go to buy it in the store, it always has sugar in it, right? All right, I'm adding one can of green chilies. All chopped and everything. Because for me, that's just the easy way to go. Just giving that a little stir up. You could get fancy and you could saute those chicken, those chicken pieces first. You can also use chicken breast if you prefer. You can use chunks of pork. You can use pretty much anything in here. Okay, I have all my ingredients. I am going to add in one package of um, organic frozen cauliflower rice. Probably could have done half, but you know what? This is about how I cook. Use up what I got. All right, push that down. It's gonna take a while for this to come up to pressure because of all the frozen stuff that's in it, the frozen onions, the frozen cauliflower. Frozen chipotles. I cook chicken thighs eight to ten minutes. These were cut in half. Eight minutes is probably fine. I'll do nine. So while you're adding everything in, I put it on saute so it gets started on the heat. And then, so when I put the lid on to get it going, I turn it off of saute and put it on manual, high pressure. So 
that's kind of how I throw together recipes, is I see what's in my refrigerator, what's in my freezer, what needs to be used up, and um, what would taste good. So this will take a little bit to come up to pressure, and then nine minutes, and then it'll beep, and you can walk away and leave it because it just stays nice and warm. And thank you so much for being here, and if you have any questions or have any recipes that you want me to demonstrate for you, just leave it in the comments, and I'll add it to my very fun mom list. I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Be compassionate with yourself. I know I always say this, but um, be kind to yourself and give yourself the things that you need to stay healthy. Have lots of water, have your green smoothies, have some nice healthy vegetables in with your um, foods, and stay really healthy. All right, everybody, Pamela LaPointe from Anchorage, Alaska. Have a wonderful, wonderful season. And if you're not already part of my um, group, it is the Wild Fit Lifestyle Journey with Pamela LaPointe. And I'd love to have you join us for some more recipe ideas and for living wild fit. Have fun. Mm -hmm.